One of the world's largest automakers is teaming up with Hawaii's largest gas provider to test hydrogen fuel cell vehicles in the islands. And tonight's Hawaii Going Green report, Jill, Jill Kuramoto tells us this latest effort is to reduce Hawaii's dependence on imported oil. General Motors is rolling out up to 15 of its new hydrogen fuel cell vehicles in the 50th state as it prepares to commercially produce the cars in the next five years. Today, the gas company announced it will be tapping into its existing system to build local fueling stations across Oahu. The goal, to have stations within 10 minutes of each other. Because we already have the hydrogen, we're distributing it in our, our gas pipes. We can install the equipment in a very short period of time. GM has invested $1.5 billion in fuel cell vehicles where hydrogen is converted into electricity. During that process, we power electrons, power an electric motor, you hit the accelerator, that electric motor takes you forward, and out the tailpipe actually is water vapor. And what does it feel like to drive one of these cars? Well, it feels like driving a regular car. We took it for a test drive, and other than sounding like a plane when you start the car, it's a quiet and smooth ride. Automakers say you would fuel the car about the same way you would a gasoline-powered car, and it would cost about the same. Today's announcement comes after South Korean automaker CT&T said it would build an electric car assembly plant in Hawaii, and Nissan said it would market electric cars here. Hawaii, I think, will be the Silicon Valley of high-tech transportation. The cars will cost around $30,000. Would Hawaii drivers buy them? Yes, I would, especially if you make a truck. I think I would, but I think right now the biggest thing is the cost. Environmentalists would argue it's a small price to pay to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News. GM says their hydrogen fuel cell cars can get up to 200 miles per fill-up. The company says it chose Hawaii to test its vehicle because of the state's commitment to reduce petroleum use by 70% by the year 2030.